Ever wondered how blood thinners work, intrigued by the science behind these life-saving medications? Blood thinners, also known as anticoagulants, are vital players in the prevention of blood clots. These clots, if unchecked, can lead to severe health complications such as stroke, heart attack, or deep vein thrombosis. Blood thinners are normally prescribed to patients with high risk of clotting. Now, let's delve into the two main types of blood thinners, anticoagulants and antiplatelet drugs. First up, anticoagulants, the chemical warriors that interfere with the body's clot formation process. So, how do they work? Let's start with warfarin, also known as Coumadin. This medication blocks the action of vitamin K, a key player in the formation of clotting factors. When vitamin K is blocked, the production of these clotting factors slows down, and so does the clotting process. Now let's talk about direct oral anticoagulants, or DOACs. These include medications like Rivaroxaban, also known as Xarelto, and Apixaban, or Eliquis. Unlike Warfarin, these medications go straight to the source, directly inhibiting specific clotting factors in the blood. For instance, both Rivaroxaban and Apixaban inhibit factor XA, an essential component in the formation of blood clots. By interfering with the body's clotting processes, anticoagulants help prevent dangerous clot formations. So that's how anticoagulants work. But what about the other type of blood thinners? Next, we have antiplatelet drugs, the defenders against platelet clumps. These medications prevent platelets, which are a type of blood cell, from sticking together and forming clots. Imagine platelets as little sticky notes floating around in your bloodstream. When they stick together, they can form clots that hinder blood flow, leading to serious health conditions. Now, let's talk about some common antiplatelet drugs. First up is aspirin. It's like a chemical referee that keeps the platelets in check. It inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase, which reduces the production of thromboxane, a chemical that encourages platelets to stick together. Then we have clopidogrel, also known as Plavix. It acts as a shield, blocking the ADP receptors on platelets and preventing them from becoming activated and sticking together. These drugs are often used to prevent clot-related problems in patients with heart and blood vessel diseases. And that's how antiplatelet drugs help in the fight against blood clots. Now that you understand how these two types of blood thinners work, let's summarize some key points. Blood thinners are great at preventing new clots from forming, but remember, they don't break up clots that have already formed. It's crucial to use these medications carefully because they can increase the risk of bleeding. Your healthcare provider will monitor your use and dosage to balance the benefits and risks. So there you have it. A brief but comprehensive look at how blood thinners work. Remember knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health.